Many moons ago, human beings were reinventing laziness and foolishness. Human beings have always been content to grow and prosper and create new things, but some human beings were being lazy. They refused to learn and saw no great problem in creating things without thinking through what would be the end of their creations. This caused much arguing between certain foolish humans and their wise counterparts. In no time at all, human beings spread across the earth, taking their arguing with them. And so it fell to God to think of a solution. Perhaps it would help if the number of wise souls was greater than the number of foolish souls. From this thought, God spoke twice, and two angels came into being. Your task is to gather up wise souls from places where too many wise folk have gathered and take them to where there are too many lazy and callous folk. If you are successful, there will be wise folk, good teachers, and good organizers in every community. Your task is to gather up foolish souls from places where there are too many foolish souls and return them to me. I will repair them. And so for years the first angel searched for wise souls. Here and there a single one was found and had to be left in place. Only occasionally too many wise souls were gathered in one place you could tell because they had taken to arguing and bickering. The angel would swoop down and pick all but one of them up. Then she would fly to a place where wise folk were needed and set the wise souls among them. As for the other angel, her problem was that only so many souls could be gathered in a day. So the angel bethought herself an idea destined to backfire. Every time she reached heaven, she grabbed a larger sack than the one she had grabbed before. The larger the sack, she reasoned, the more foolish souls she could fit in it, and the less trips she would have to make back and forth. This worked, that is, until she grabbed a sack that was far too big. She filled it with souls and had trouble even lifting it up. With the sack in hand, she had trouble taking off. Moreover, the slightest breeze was enough to slow her down on her upward journey. That is when it happened. She was flying much too close to the ground when she came to a tall hill kept by pine trees. She struggled to fly over the top of the hill when a sudden gust of wind hit her. It was just enough to blow the bag against the pine trees where needles and cones made quick work of ripping her bag to shreds. Out poured the largest collection of foolish souls ever gathered in one place on the face of the earth. Every one of them hit the ground, rolling, dipping, tumbling, and careening to the bottom of the hill. Lo and behold, nestled between the hill and the river was the innocent town of Helm. Suddenly, the town of Helm was transformed. Since everyone was now foolish, the Helmers looked at one another and immediately recognized the same amount of wisdom in the faces they were seeing as they believed they had. The poor angel sped up towards heaven. While she was afraid to face her creator, she was brave enough to stand and relate what had happened. Not to worry, little one. I know it was an accident and you are forgiven. I think we will leave the souls where they are 
and see what happens. Whatever happens, it is certain to be a great deal of fun to watch. And that is how the town of Helm came 